Hi, I'm Vince Petrano. And I'm Susan Kim. The investigation continues into a series of events that left three people dead on Milwaukee's northwest side. Police report that a two-year-old child was hit and killed by a car after running into the street. This happened yesterday near 48th and Glendale. The driver did stop, but then was shot and killed by someone during a confrontation. A 15-year-old boy was also shot and later died at a hospital. Police say they do not have any suspects in custody. More help is heading down to Illinois from Wisconsin today. The Milwaukee chapter of the Red Cross is sending volunteers to help tornado victims there. They are leaving in an emergency response vehicle. Two people died when that EF4 tornado leveled Fairdale Thursday night. Neighbors were allowed back into their homes on Saturday to try to find anything that wasn't destroyed. Today starts Severe Weather Awareness Week as it happens here in Wisconsin. People are being encouraged to go over their emergency plans in case of unexpected severe weather. A mock tornado drill with watches issued for the entire state will be held Thursday afternoon. Wisconsin typically averages about 20 tornadoes a year or so, usually from May until August. Leaders at UWM are meeting today to discuss the school's budget. According to JS Online, the university recently announced it will offer several hundred employees a voluntary retirement buyout. It is in response to Governor Walker's proposed budget cuts. UWM is the fifth campus in the UW system to offer an early retirement program. Governor Walker is overseas this week on a trade mission. He will meet with business and government leaders in Germany, France, and Spain. The governor also plans to travel to Israel next month. He says he hopes to meet with Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. So far, that meeting has not been scheduled. Funeral services are planned today for Mark Morata. The chairman of the BMO Harris Bradley Center board died last week from a brain aneurysm. The visitation begins at 11 o'clock this morning at J. Sue Church. The funeral service follows at 2 p.m. Former Governor Jim Doyle, longtime friend of Morata, plans to attend. City of Milwaukee's Department of Public Works kicking off its annual Project Clean and Green program today. Public Works crews will begin collecting large trash items at no extra charge to residents. You just put them out on trash day during your assigned time. Things uh, workers will not pick up include electronics and hazardous waste. The program runs through June 1st. The Bucks plan to unveil their new logo today, one day after clinching a spot in the playoffs. The Bucks have been teasing fans on social media with the hashtag see the future, promising something big to happen on April 13th, less than a week after the team revealed renderings of a new arena. The big reveal will take place at a viewing party before tonight's game. Merchandise sporting the new Bucks logo will be available to purchase as well. Well, we started off the morning with some morning rain showers, all a part of a low pressure that is bringing a cold front and some rain showers from Milwaukee all the way down through Texas. High pressure, though, pushed the rain showers out of the forecast and bring some sunshine to us later on. But it is severe weather awareness week, so if you wanted to know the difference between a watch and a warning, well, a watch tells you there's a risk for hazardous weather. A warning tells you that an event or really pretty intense weather is actually occurring imminent or likely and you need to actually take action immediately. For us, no severe weather though as that low pressure pushes on out. We are looking at clearing skies. The winds will be a bit brisk from the west later on this afternoon, but they will be calming down overnight and into your Tuesday. High pressure means calm, quiet conditions with sunshine and 60s in the forecast. Still pretty calm as we start off your Wednesday with some more sunshine, just a little bit cooler. Your forecast for today though, again, morning showers ended, clearing skies and in breezy conditions, 64 degrees with blue skies throughout the afternoon. Overnight tonight, quiet and clear, 40 degrees. Not quite as warm as we had this morning, but still pretty mild for April. And as we go into your Tuesday, looking at mostly sunny skies, just a few fair weather cumulus clouds, 63 degrees and the wind not going to be nearly as strong as we get into your Wednesday. However, that wind swings around to being from the east and that's going to bring a cooler temp along Lake Michigan, 56 degrees for your high on Wednesday, closer to 60 away from Lake Michigan. Another storm system though pushes on in Wednesday night and into Thursday. That will bring a chance for a couple scattered showers, maybe even a rumble of thunder, but overall still not looking at any severe weather for us. 58 degrees on Thursday, getting closer to your Friday. Any morning shower will come to an end and the temps are going to rise right back up into the 60s with mostly sunny skies by the afternoon. Saturday looking to be the pick day out of the weekend with mostly sunny skies and a high of 60 degrees. Another chance for some rain showers by the end of the day on Sunday. Temperatures are going to be dropping into the 50s though through much of next week, so enjoy the 60s while we have them.